everybody. Welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr and today is Wednesday. So we're going to be focusing on round two of Russian River Week. Now if you were here on Monday, uh, we took a look at their IPA called Blind Pig. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Temptation, which is a blonde ale uh, that's been aged in uh, oak chardonnay barrels. Um, they age this one for about a year, so it lives in these barrels for quite a long time. And I do know that they add one of my other favorite things besides beer in this beer, uh, which is the wild yeast known as Britannomyces. So, you know, a lot like some of the beers that we reviewed in the past, I'm hoping that this one will have that sort of funky character um, that you get from the Britannomyces. In fact, I know it will because I've had this one once before. Uh, granted, it's been a little while, but uh, I have had it and really looking forward to sharing this one with you guys again. Um, but I was noticing on the bottle uh, one important question. It's actually the first question that's in uh, this statement on the back of the bottle. It says, is it a beer or is it a wine? So, you know, the fact that it's aged in these oak Chardonnay barrels, um, you know, I think, you know, really kind of adds to the wine characteristic of the beer. Um, but I do know that this one is also very characteristic of the Barrel Age series. Um, you know, that Vinny produces at Russian River. So if I remember correctly, this tastes a lot like um, the supplication. Now obviously the base, uh, the base beer is different. Um, I think that one's a Eau Brune or a Brown Ale. Um, and again, this one is a Blonde Ale. So this one's going to be, uh, you know, much lighter um, than the supplication. So, um, and I also will bring back the consecration on Friday, so hope you can join in on that one and uh, we will enjoy that one as well. And I think that's probably going to be on the higher end. That's the one that I have not had yet. Um, but anyway, I'll get to that one on Friday. Make sure you guys come back and watch that video. So this one, uh, it clocks in right at 7.25%. So, you know, not a really big beer. And I'm glad because since I'm drinking these alone, you know, I really don't like drinking those high ABV, high ABV beers in these um, big 750 milliliter bottles. In fact, I wish I had some 375s of this, but hey, you know what? I'll drink it. Probably what I'll do is drink the first half tonight and then just put a cork in the top, you know, and finish the rest tomorrow. Uh, if you want to do that, that's okay. You know, I, I've had a couple people ask me along the way, hey, is it okay to put corks in these and let them sit? It is. It's much like a growler. Um, I would recommend, though, that you drink them within 24 hours. After that, they really kind of start to um, lose a lot of their carbonation. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get this one pouring. And yes, I am using my Russian River glasses that I bought from uh, the brewery not too long ago. Again, if you want to go online, uh, you can check out their website. I think it's RussianRiverBrewing.com. Uh, I'll put the link up. I'll put it right about in this area right here. Um, anyway, just go into their you know shopping section They've got these, they've got the, um, the mason jar that we used for the uh, blind pig the other day, etc. So let's get to this beer. Uh, again, this is The Temptation. And I'll tell you what, I know Vinny Chalurzo is a big fan of Orval. And visually, this one really reminds me of Orval a lot. I bet this is probably his ode to that beer. I can tell just by the color, uh, which is a very vibrant golden straw hay color. Um, very, very, very golden color though. Um, but the head is, you know, virtually white. Not even off-white, um, not even as dark as eggshell white. This one is really white and soapy. Um, and I can tell it just looks extremely Belgian. And I say this all the time, but it's true. I can smell it already, you know. I haven't even put my nose in the glass, but I can smell it. I can smell that Russian River signature smell coming up out of the glass, but I'm going to investigate just a little bit further because this is making me happy already. I mean, wow, this just really, I, yeah, this is my kind of beer. So right up front, you know, you know, there's a lot, I can tell this nose is very balanced because there's not one thing that really stands out. Though I will tell you that the yeast component of this, um, and a lot of times you'll hear people call it a phenolic quality. 
phenolic is kind of that smell that gives you the illusion uh, of smelling something medicinal like a band-aid or an astringent um, you know something medical I, I guess you could say and I really get that out of there and that's that's gonna have a lot to do with the barrel aging uh, the Britannomyces um, and I believe that he probably uses a couple other wild yeast strains in this one as well probably Pediococcus um, you know one of those but uh, definitely has that Russian River smell right up front also getting a really nice Belgian yeast component so when I say Belgian yeast, um, you know, really this thing sounds, uh, sounds, yeah, it sounds like, it smells like a tartar version of Orval. So if you're somebody who really likes Orval, you like the lightness of it, the, the, how clean it is, this is a very clean smelling beer. I'm getting a lot of lemon peel, a lot of citrus. So just to recap, we've got the citrus, we've got the phenolic quality, and a really nice Belgian yeast. So all three really nice things. It's a beautiful beer. It smells good. I bet it tastes even better. Man, my tongue just exploded. I mean, this is a very, not even, not very tart. I mean, it's tart, but it's not, uh, it's not as tart as the supplication. I, I think the supplication is more puckering, you know, when I think about um, sourness levels, it's like, yeah, that's kind of sour, and then there's puckering, and then there's just your face crunches up into, uh, you know, a ball. I think this is a lot more subtle than the supplication is. Um, very light and refreshing. Again, even on the palate, this thing really reminds me of Orval, uh, but again, with just a little bit more sourness to it. Mm. Boy, am I going to enjoy working my way through this mug. I'm telling you. I like this one a lot. In fact, I think I like this one just a touch better than the supplication. The supplication, you know, lots of flavor, um, you know, really kind of tastes like this. But, you know, to me, this is a very sophisticated beer. It's very clean. It's very nice. Um, beautiful is a word that I would use just because it's so crisp it's so clean um, it, you know lots of flavor I mean there's so much flavor in here that you know you can really sip this for a long time because that that aftertaste that sits on your tongue it just stays there forever mm. Mm. I am really liking this one guys a lot and I remember it being, you know, really nice and light. I think the fact that it's got a, a blonde ale as the base is really what's making this so nice because, you know, just really refreshing. You know, kind of actually, you know what it reminds me of too? Uh, it reminds me a lot of the Saisons that we reviewed. Um, but obviously, this has a lot more of a tartness from those yeasts. But man, boy, really, really nice beer. Gotta say one more time, big shout out to Vinny. I mean, I really think he's making easily the best beers out there. You know, I've got them at number one on my top ten brewery list, and there's a reason for it. You know, all their IPAs are solid. Temptation, amazing. Uh, Supplication, great. Uh, a long time ago, I had their Damnation, which is just a regular Belgian ale, and that thing was just it was textbook. It was absolutely gorgeous, but really, really love this beer. Uh, hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, I look forward to coming back on Friday and knocking out that consecration uh, that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Maybe, just maybe, I'll get Tim on the show to share that one with me. Um, you know, really like to share these beers as much as I like drinking them alone. I like the camaraderie of sharing them with other folks. So, anyway. I will see you guys on Friday. Go to thehoppery.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash thehoppery. Cheers.